third graders, I'm back. Today we're going to do multiplying two digit number times a one digit number. And this should be a walk in the park for you guys because yesterday you did three digit times one digit. So this is one less digit. All right, so let's take a look. And first one we're going to do is super easy. I bet you get this and figure it out. And then we'll do a couple that are a little harder. Okay, so our first one is 50 times 5. Now there's a couple ways we could do this problem. We could go 5 times 0 is 0, and 5 times 5 is 25. Okay, you're going to get the same answer if you do it that way, or if you just say, well, there's a 0. So I bring that 0 down. And I multiply these two numbers, 5 times 5 is 25, and put it in the front. Okay? Now, just because there's a 0 does not mean we just put a 0. If that 0 is in the middle of a number, we can't do that. The 0 has to be on the end of one of the numbers to just bring that 0 down. Okay? So, the best way to do it would be to think, just like yesterday, multiply the 1's place. 5 times 0 is... 0. Now multiply the tens place. 5 times 5 is 25. 250. Okay, let's try another one. No zeros in this one, but we're going to do it the same as I just showed you. First, we are going to multiply our ones place. 2 times 2 is 4. And then we multiply times our tens place. 4 times 2 is 8. And we've got our answer. Okay, I pulled in one more. It's a little harder. Okay, again, we know we're going to start with that 1's place first. So 2 times 9. 2 times 9. Well, this is the first time we've gotten a two-digit number. 2 times 9 is 18. If you'll remember yesterday, we're not done with this problem, so we can't just put 18 down here. Nope, can't do that. Just like when we add, we put the ones place, which is the eight, down. We carry our tens place up above the tens place and add it in. Remember I told you yesterday, I always like to put that plus one to remember I'm not multiplying that number, I'm adding that number. So now I'm going to multiply my tens place and I multiply first, two times three is 6, add one more, 7, and I found my answer, 78. So just like yesterday, remember we multiply the 1's place first, then the 10's place, and yesterday we multiplied times the 100's place, but no 100's today, okay? So one more thing for you, I'm going to show you the multiplication trick for 9, so let me prop my camera. Okay, when I do the nines trick, now I'm going to turn my back to you so that this looks right and you can read the numbers right, okay? So when I do my nines trick, I'm going to put my hands up just like this, right in front of me. And this is the first problem I'm going to do here. Nine times four, and that is backwards. But I am doing nine times four. So the nine tells me, use my nines trick, and the four tells me how I'm going to do it. So I have my hands up, and since it's times four, I'm going to start counting on the left, and I'm going to count four. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to put that fourth finger down. Okay, now I can see what my number, my answer is. The first, the tens place in my answer is one, two, three. And the ones place in my answer is these two. Put down. Five, six. So my answer to 9 times 4 is 36. Okay? You need to start from the left. It makes it a lot easier because you can see your number then. So let's try one more. 9 times 7. So 9 tells us we're going to use our 9 trick so my hands are ready. 7 tells us which finger we're going to put down. So if I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I'm putting that finger down. And now I look at my, on the left, I have six fingers, so my tens place is a six. On the right, I have three fingers, so my ones place is a three. 
63. 9 times 7 is 63. Hopefully my fingers are facing the right way so it was easy for you to read those numbers. <laughs> Turning around and everything is, is a little difficult. Alright guys, um, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.